Hello my friends, welcome back. It is episode 38. And the mess continues. Well, this is the mess, really. This is a mess, and this is a mess, and we just... The whole thing is just a great big whopping mess because of all this stuff everywhere. Largely caused by the fact that, you know, we have a lot of enemy infantry, and they are being surprisingly capable despite the flat terrain. Anyway, we have work to do, so let's get working. Ah, <sighs> it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Push him in. Good work. And it's time to seal in the flavor. Get rid of the big threats, shall we? The big threats are also worth the big money. Sadly, this enemy, uh, this, <laughs> it's, it's almost like, it might as well be the enemy. Enemy infantry is in the way. It's allied infantry that behaves like the enemy. Let's fall back. There's just too much, too much going on. Try and weaken the enemy a bit. It seems to me like I can't get this guy right now. I can't get him right now. I need to just carry on making a wall here. certainly might be able to get this guy. This cloud is not helping. Why is he not freed up for supply now? 
Now he is. I just need to keep him locked in while I try my best to deal with some of this infantry that's everywhere. Just gotta hold him still while I get the work done. Sadly, this tank cannot get over there to make that happen. Because infantry can repair by seven each turn. It makes, you know, if you don't finish them off, you are going to end up spending a lot of your time. Let's put all these down into anti tank mode. You're going to spend a lot of your time struggling to finish them. We can only hope that our Spanish friends can finish the job. One damage here, one damage there. Let's get this auxiliary fire repaired. Try and get all my aircraft repaired so that they're doing maximum damage. Basically, I'm just trying to keep the enemy tanks locked in and not doing anything. While I, um... While I clean up this infantry. You know, if you imagine this front line without all this infantry on it, we it would be a lot cleaner. Finish him! Alright, another one gone. That artillery's gonna run to that airport tile, I think. Nope. Oh, he's left himself nowhere to go. Interestingly. Did he just move three tiles? No, it's got to be just two, right? Ouch. Those are not cheap. Okay, we got super infantry that's just turned up. Wow, he did a lot of damage too. Wow, so much for clearing the infantry. Friggin' more of them has just come pouring out of the fog. Look at it all. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow, like, I mean, you know, more core slots than I'll ever see in my life amount of infantry has just turned up. Pull back.
Okay, the one that's behind me needs to go. Remember that this is just an auxiliary tank, it's not really of any value to me. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I don't even understand. Oops, that was a misclick. I was just counting the tiles. He's actually moved six tiles. Oh, that was horrible. Okay, they moved. Man, this is like... This is just a horrible mess. get that low enough, but I don't think I can. I think three damage would cause a retreat here. Uh, maybe I can get him. Just gotta keep killing infantry, I guess. Let's move you here. Okay. 
Alright, he's got nowhere to go, so he should surrender. artillery which needs healing just have to wait for the Spanish boys to attack that and it'll disappear might as well try and slow down the damage Target rich environment. Talk about a target rich environment. This is how the uh, Spanish AI likes to suicide. It sees an artillery and it goes for it. You know, and it doesn't care that it puts itself into a surround. <clears throat> that anti-tank recons are really powerful. Spanish are getting murdered on both sides, I guess. Okay, well, we're still alive. For some reason, the AI has actually freed up this area. Maybe we can do something with that. Maybe we can do something with that. Oh, there we go. It did actually connect properly. I'm just going to try and slow down the damage output here. 
But this is like, this is just a wall of infantry. But maybe I can do something about it. Just put the hurt on this just to uh, prevent it from doing any damage to me. It should repair next turn. If it's worth repairing, the AI repairs usually. I'm just going to have to ignore that infantry for now. Get my units reinforced to hold the line here. This encirclement is created only by my units. This one is not necessary. back. Soften those just to make it so that if the infantry attack them then they'll hold. If I can just isolate this group and take it down, it's going to make life a lot easier for me. With recon support, these fighters can get a couple of kills. Should be able to finish the job there. I am low rolling like crazy right now. Let's reduce the strength of this so it can't, can't get out so easily. Because that's actually not militia. that to be fair okay the struggle is real okay another infantry unit dies Simon says sit they doing that like I don't understand how this infantry is in the open tiles getting well that one's actually got really good <clears throat> it's actually got really good uh, attack strength against hard are not getting out. This the this international brigade has actually got incredible attack strength. Five against hard. That's huge for infantry. 
Man, I wish in my German campaign I had access to infantry that costs only 121 prestige and has these kind of statistics. Okay. We're on the verge of a breakthrough. Sort of. If I can eliminate this group, then it's gonna. Then this whole front will collapse, and then I can move over here to try and do something about this. As it stands, the only thing I want to do on this side is just hold on. I might be able to put the hurt in here and repair afterwards. Yep. Oh, for crying out loud, they got away. Out of range. Not enough damage. If I could overrun the artillery and go after them, that would be great. But I can't. So they are going to repair, and it's as if I haven't done anything. I can bust my way through next turn. Right, well, that hurt. It hurt me in my soul. But that's okay. I'm about to have my revenge for all the indignities that have been inflicted on me. So I hope you boys are ready. start with this one. Good work. Now push that one in. And he's next. Okay. Your turn. The old infantry hose tank should be able to f put enough pressure on these to make them surrender. Seems like they really don't want to. Of course it's an anti-aircraft gun there, isn't there? Shut him up. Okay. I'll have to get this one first now. That's not a big deal. Ah, 
I really, I couldn't care less if these guys, how much of them I capture. It doesn't really interest me. I just want them gone. Okay, I can remerge them without losing any part of my linkage. I can re remerge them without losing any part of my linkage. This is, you know, consolidation to protect my assets now. And I can remerge these without losing any part of my linkage as well. I can then, I can move him here. And the situation is secure ish. I'm going to do replacements for these auxiliary fighters. Because it's the difference between doing one damage and two against this infantry, which I need to get rid of. We've got another T-26 moving in here, and we've also got this extremely dangerous mega-fat overstrengthed international brigade with incredible stats. It could totally just run in here and kill my artillery, in fact. I shouldn't have repaired my artillery, I should have backed it the hell away. Has this guy got a close defense of any kind? No. Oh, I'm just realizing now that there's a very real possibility that this runs in here. Because the AI likes to do that. It likes to do incredibly suicidal moves to get support units. I get the feeling that these guys will be happy to run in as well. I really should have thought about this earlier. They are quite close to stopping for repairs though. Oh well, if I lose an AA gun, I lose an AA gun. Alright, that was good. And so was that. Okay, this is the only unit that can attack. It could move here and attack me. I don't know how much damage it would get. Probably quite a bit though. I can't believe that that recon car can do so much damage to a T-26. Okay, repairing. 
Nope. He went for the Spanish infantry instead and did some serious hurt to them. Okay, that's fine. More infantry? Jesus! Where do they find these guys? Oh, this front line is collapsing. Okay! Well, this has been one hell of a protracted battle. And here, I thought I had a breakthrough. But I actually don't have a breakthrough. See, I was going to break through from here across. Because if I put a unit here, and a unit here, and a unit here, then this is a complete surround. This whole group is suddenly surrounded. And I can do that by using these units here and these units here if this wall hadn't just been recreated. So I'm going to have to figure out how to break this break this wall so I can get behind here so I can encircle all of this. And with all of this encircled, then suddenly I'm in a great position. Of course, encircling all of this means abandoning this side here, which is totally fine. I could just, uh, because I'm only using these for, for blockage purposes, I could shoot with them first, then maneuver them. So that's not necessarily a problem. But basically I want to split my units and get up here to block this side, and this still looks very possible. I have all these units available, they're all reasonably strong, and I should be possible. it should be possible for me to split them up here and create the surround. But this side has now become a mess, which I'm going to have to unpick if I want to create the other side. Because otherwise, this middle thrust is going to succeed. The enemy's thrust here is going to succeed if I don't create the surround. So anyway, that's it for now. This is really ugly. If I had my time again, I would probably deploy more anti-infantry tanks. And I would probably deploy less... I wouldn't necessarily deploy less auxiliary fighters because I needed them to get rid of the enemy air force and that was totally fine. But what I would be tempted to do is deploy less actual fighters on my side and deploy more uh, dive bombing kit. But anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.